All right, guys, so we're gonna rebuild mine right now. So, uh, let's get right to it. See you guys once I'm done. Ah, Jesus Christ, that was on there. Holy crap. Freaking, this thing has never been rebuilt at all. The other one was at least in good condition. Holy crap. There it is. Let's take out the CO2 cap. Nothing in there. But now we have to get the valve that's in there. So we're gonna have to thread this on there. There we go. We got the valve assembly off. There we go. We have our new kit right here. Don't bother putting these in there. This little spacer thing, it'll warp anyways and breaks. Now we gotta tap it out from the top. Oh, there's our spring. Here's our ball bearing for our pump. All right, guys, so I have finally sanded this to be painted. I'm gonna spray paint this black. This is basically it, and I have all the parts right here ready to be put back together. I just have to put all the valve into the bottom tube here where the CO2 goes, but before I do that i'm gonna prep all this for painting and we'll see how it turns out so see you guys once i'm done i took out the trigger spring from this so this is what the top looks like oh yeah this is oh i could use a bit more sanding here but uh other than that now all we have to do is go set up our little painting area and we should be all set so All right guys, so here's a grip frame. So I have done one coat. I sanded it back down because there were a couple areas that I didn't sand too well and it started to peel back up. But it was only this and this side turned out pretty good. So now all we have to do is just prime it one more time. And then I just lightly scuffed up the entire thing so that I can lay down one more primer coat. And then that should be all good so that I can then paint it white so yeah make sure you comment down below what color should i paint this and i don't know if you can take out the trigger but i think i'm gonna need a pin punch to knock this pin out because uh the trigger is uh chrome sooner or later it's gonna peel off anyways i'm not too worried about the trigger peeling that's okay so this is all ready to go right now so i'm gonna go prime it so here's a top area right here these little sections were peeling up also but uh everything should turn out good now let's uh go prime it right now see you guys once i'm done but i only got the prime one side since it started raining i had to bring everything inside this has a day curing now so i'll just have to end up doing this side another day and give it a light scuff all around and then i'll do one even all at once so yeah that's uh that's basically it 